compute the work done by the force field defined by the components, or vector f defined by the components 2y minus 2x along the line segment from point 0.42 to point 0.04. So to get us started here, we want to recall evaluating vector line integrals. specifically related to work. So we have the vector line integral over the curve C of the vector field dot with the differential D vector R is equivalent to the integral from point A to point B of the parametrized vector field in terms of this vector R of T. And this is dotted with the tangent vector DT. So the first thing that we want to do is find the parameterization for our curve. So we want to find a parametric description for C. And let's see, the curve that we are integrating over, the line that we're integrating over here, is a line segment, and it's specifically from the ordered pair 4, 2 to 0, 4. So we want to even keep in mind here that if you're given a line segment from point x naught y naught to some point x sub 1, y sub 1, we use the parametric description of a vector-valued equation of a line. So you can say that our x component, x of t, is going to be equal to x naught plus t multiplied by the change in your x value, so x1 minus x0. And then the y component of this vector value function is going to be y0 plus t times y sub 1 minus y0. And this is for values of t greater than or equal to 0, less than or equal to 1. So thinking about what we're given here, we'll use this information to find our specific parametric description. So I'm going to let x0, y0 be the first point, 4, 2. And we'll let x sub 1, y sub 1 be our second point, 0, 4. So finding the components here, we have x of t is going to be equal to 4 plus t multiplied by 0 minus 4, which leaves us with 4 minus 4t. And then we have y of t is going to be equal to 2 plus t times 4 minus 2. So we have 2 plus 2t, and we're ready to go. So we can state here that the Curve is parameterized by this vector valued function r of t with components x of t, y of t. And hopefully, you're recognizing these are simply the parametric equations of a line 4 minus 4t, four 2 plus 2t. Two and again, this is for t values greater than or equal to 0, less than or equal to 1. And we'll now go ahead and use this parametric description to find or to set up the rest of the integrand here. So we want to redefine our vector field. So here we were given the vector field in terms of x and y being defined by the components 2y minus 2x. And we want to parameterize this vector field in terms of this vector valued function r of t. This is going to be equivalent to 2 multiplied by y of t minus 2 multiplied by x of t. So these are the components of vector r. And so we'll have 2 multiplied by 2 plus 2t minus 2 multiplied by 4 minus 4t. And then simplifying this a little bit, we can pull out a greatest common factor or a scalar of 4, leaving us with 4 times the vector 1 
plus t. And simplifying the y component, we have negative 2 plus 2t. Two so now that we have our parameterized vector field, we want to go ahead and find the tangent vector, r prime of t, and then compute the dot product. So we're going to compute the dot product of our tangent vector with the parameterized vector field. So in using that parameterization of the line segment, we see that the tangent vector is defined as the vector negative 4, 2. We can even simplify this with factor a common scalar 2 out in front. So we have 2 times the vector negative 2, 1. And now we're ready for the dot product. So we are dotting the parameterized vector field with our tangent vector. So we have 4 multiplied by the vector 1 plus t, negative 2 plus 2t. Two and this is dotted with 2 times the vector negative 2, 1. So we can pull that scalar 8 out in front. And then we have negative 2 multiplied by 1 plus t plus technically 1 multiplied by negative 2 plus 2t. You don't have to include that, though, just for good practice. And so simplifying here, we have minus 2 minus 2t minus 2 plus 2t. So we see those negative 2t and positive 2t will cancel each other right out. And so we have 8 multiplied by negative 4 for a beautiful final answer here of negative 32. And now we are ready to go ahead and set up the line integral. And evaluate to find our work. So we've taken the vector line integral over our curve C of the vector field dotted with the differential d vector r. And we rewrite this as the integral from 0 to 1 of negative 32 dt. And how cute is this? We end up with negative 32t from 0 to 1 for a beautiful final answer of negative 32.